FX2 short move review. Raleigh Tyler is no longer doing special effects, which makes you wonder why we're watching a movie about him doing special effects. It's also interesting how where the first movie could easily have written Leo the cop entirely out, this movie has clearly been altered just to write Raleigh in. It is, this is a cop story. This is a movie about a cop and someone he works with, you know, solving a a case and trying to figure out what exactly is... I'm getting ahead of myself. Basically, someone is unexpectedly killed and the the immediate police authority, the, the, the cop in charge, Silak, insists that it was, you know, that something else happened and Thus, you know, Leo and Raleigh know they can't trust him, and it's unclear how far the corruption goes, so, yeah, who can they trust so they have to deal with themselves? And Raleigh hides because, you know, Silek would know that it was him if he was openly investigating, and he's not a cop, so I'm not sure what he's doing in a cop movie. Leo goes around investigating, and Raleigh protects the his girlfriend and the and her son who was you know they you know the girlfriend used to be married to Mike the person unexpectedly killed and yeah the they're written in because Raleigh's written in and Raleigh needs something to do the the movie is just not that interesting. It's a perfectly decent little cop story. You know, if, if you just go in and you just want to try to help figure out what is really going on and see if, you know, yeah, sure, that it'll do that. It's, you know, it has a bigger and, and actually complex plot. The, the first one is kind of this silly little thing of, yeah, and here there's you know, there might be a conspiracy or something going on, and figuring that out is perfectly enjoyable, and it's not really a poorly made movie. The The filming and editing are fine, the, the action is nicely done, it just, it's not effects, it's not even effects too, it's just, it's, yeah, they, they you know, this was clearly, Brian Dennehy, fits like a glove in this movie. Not, no problem there. But they should just have... They should have not rewritten it to fit in Raleigh, but just have left it as a fun little cop film with Brian Dennehy and written the partner role as someone else, preferably another cop or something, because it's just... Yeah, kind of... boring to see Raleigh... You know, the, the only thing he gets to do in the film is the tactical use of special effects, which it's, it's it's okay, but it's so, tries so hard to outdo the first one, so it ends up just a series of gags, most of them seeming more effort than they're worth, where in the first they're very minimalist and really everything is used to just the right effect, and you can see why he couldn't just run in and do it you know, straightforwardly, he has to stealth around. And, you know, both of them have a climax where he has to infiltrate somewhere, and... Yeah, but... To to quote a, a critic, the, the movie rarely makes sense, and the climax is entirely incomprehensible. If you like this review and want a more detailed one, the link is in the description box. I've reviewed other parts of this franchise, the links are in the description box. Please comment, thumbs up, and subscribe for more content.